Okay, so today I'm going to go through a whole bunch of boots and hopefully get you to a place where you can decide what's the best boot for you. So the first thing, you can see a bunch here, but the first thing you need to decide is what you're willing to spend. So on this table, uh, I have boots that are around 100 bucks, and then I have boots that are around 400 bucks. Then that kind of brings us kind of what you're going to do with them. So if it's a style thing, if you're you know looking for a dress boot, something that you're going to wear, um, to fancy occasions, it might be worth spending more money. Um, this one here, the reason why it's so expensive, this is ostrich, okay? So usually you will find um, that the expense of the boot is the materials that it's made with. Certainly, you know, how well it's built too. You can have caiman, you can have all kinds of stuff. Just to show you that to get a good look without spending a lot of money, you can use something like this. So this is stamped. It has 3D texture, but this is just cowhide. This is meant to look like caiman, which is a type of alligator lizard thing. I'm not, I'm not a pro on that. So definitely think about what you're gonna use them for, and uh, that, that would be a good place to start after you decide how much you're gonna spend, and that'll totally change what you're gonna spend. Um, as we go along here, uh, you can kind of see there's just a bunch of differences and most of them are comprised on kind of why or what you're going to use them for and that's why they're different. So maybe a boot like this, you could certainly wear, you know, to something nice. You could still ride in it based on the size of the heel. We'll talk just a little bit about that. Um, a couple of these in the front, these are, are women's boots. They have a taller heel. I personally don't love having a tall heel, but when you are riding, depending on what you're doing, that might help you out to have a taller heel. So kind of keep that in mind, what you're gonna use them for. Um, this one here, kind of that tall heel, just a different toe. We can talk a little bit about that here in a minute. Um, kind of your average, if you're just looking for an average, maybe to blend in or just to have a nice cowboy boot, going with something with a moderate size heel is definitely Kind of where I would guide you to. So anything extreme would be would be kind of different. This would be an extreme of sorts. This is a crepe sole cowboy boot. No heel in that, and we'll talk about that uh, in a second. So um, really, when you're thinking about what you're going to do, it's honestly what percentage of of time are you going to be wearing it? What you're going to be doing when you're doing. It. So if you're riding, that totally changes everything. Um, you're going to need something with a bunch of longevity, so something that's built well. Um, this is a, a really great boot here. I've had this boot forever. Um, you can see these are just some places where boots will break down stitching. If you don't do a good job oiling them, they'll break down here. So just know that if you're going to use them a lot, definitely take care of them. But if you're riding, you'll definitely want to kind of look of how the, at how the boot is built. So there's a reason why there's a heel on. You put your foot in the stirrup and this sits at the back. Usually you're riding with the stirrup up here, but this will make sure your foot doesn't slide through the stirrup and get caught, okay? This boot here does not have that function, which probably would panic some people. That's why in buckaroo tradition, usually it's not the only reason why, but their stirrups are usually bell stirrups and they're really big and it's impossible to get your foot all the way through. This is a comfort choice, style choice, different things like that. So if you're going to be riding them, uh, definitely look for something with a heel unless you're trying to go you know, a different route um, and then just decide how big of a heel is comfortable for you. Um, like I said, longevity is something you need to think about, especially if you pay a lot of money for a boot, I would not go to ride in every day in it because that would kind of be a waste of good money for a nice boot. People do it all the time, good on them. I just, I, I wouldn't do it. Um, and that also kind of goes into, if you're going for a budget boot, don't go so cheap that they'll break down. Um, these boots here, these are Farini boots, great boots. A lot of people get these just because they are kind of cheaper made and they you know break in really easy, different things like that. They do have the propensity to break down quicker. Um, and so maybe that would be too cheap if you're looking to have a boot for a, for a long time. Um, as you look across all of these, you'll see just a few different things that pertain to comfort. So I kind of touched on a few. Um, some of them are style and comfort put together. So here's a pointed toe here in the front. I've never really had luck with that because it kind of cramps my toes together, but that's a style look there that also might be comfortable for you. Most of these are a version of a square toe. So a little subtlety between these two boots here. These are both square toe. One's a little fatter than the other one in the front. So that's, you know, put it on, wear it around. Um, this also has kind of a toe box, so it's kind of taller. It might give you more room. Just be pretty critical about what you see when you are trying a boot on. Um, also, these two are actually a really good example. Similar look, two different heel styles, okay? 
totally up to you what's going to be most comfortable to you. Um, I'll go back here to a couple of mine. Uh, this is a very moderate roper style heel, not too tall, typically probably pretty comfortable. These leather soled ones don't have a cushion. So if you're going to be walking on concrete all day or you're getting these to wear with your business attire and you're not going to be out and about riding, I would not recommend that for long. It, it's fine. It looks good, but it certainly will get pretty tiresome pretty quick. So they started to make these guys. You can see how much arch there's in there. That is a rubber bottom. It's got more cushion to it. Something if you're going to wear it all the time, maybe go this route instead of this. And then obviously over here, this guy's got a ton of cushion. That's why I really, really like these. I don't really love wearing heeled boots around. It makes my feet hurt. But something that kind of trumps everything over price point, over function, what you're going to do with them and style is if it's comfortable. I can't tell you how many people I've seen buy boots, wear them twice, and then take them to Goodwill because they just didn't feel good. So take some time. Try to find something that's going to meet all of your needs, going to last a long time, but also, more importantly, is comfortable. So if you like this video and want to see more videos just like this, please like and subscribe to the Startup Cowboy channel.